and welcome back to Shrine Tutorials for Tears of the Kingdom. Here's the Timowak Shrine in Elden Canyon. This shrine is on the way to Goron City. So if you're taking the road there, very easy to get to. Just up a cliff. Okay, when you enter the shrine, you're going to see this is going to deal a lot with magma and lava. <clears throat> so, at first you're going to come in and you're going to see there's a hydrant creating magma rocks for you. Just go ahead and hop across on those. Ooh, make sure you make it all the way. Okay, just making sure I'm not missing the chest. And we'll keep moving. Next, we're going to run into a construct. He's a pretty simple construct, and he's just got a bow. Uh, if you hit him in the eye, he should die pretty instantaneously. And we see we have a ball receptacle. The ball's down there. So this is going to require us to make a bridge of sorts. So we're going to be using Ultra Hand here, and we're going to slowly construct a bridge made out of magma. Oh, not like that, though. Highly recommend taking a bunch of those longer pieces and attaching them to each other. It works so much better. Look at that, a bridge. As you can see, the chest is behind the water over there. So we can just create another bridge to get there. Go ahead and attach the lava slabs. Um, some might be being caught by your bridge. Go ahead and grab those. Wow, epic ultra hand fail. There we go. Well, that'll pretty much block all the lava that's coming through, so we'll uh, just get across here this way. That'll do her. So run on down to the end, make a jump. Ooh, don't die. And in here, we're going to get a strong Zonite shield, which, as you can see, is not as strong as my mighty Zonite shield, so we'll leave it there. Pretty solid early game shield, though. So we'll grab our ball, hop on down, do not catch on fire, and run on over to the ball receptacle. Awesome. All right, now we just need to get across this large flow of lava. They give us some fans and also some other uh, Zonai devices. If you turn to the right, they're up there. Um, there are some hydrants to make lava chunks. Um, I decided to disregard that entirely. I went back into this old room and got lava chunks from here. Out though, lava chunks only fit through diagonally, so take that into consideration when picking your lava chunks. Now that we have our lava chunks, we're going to put them next to each other to make a raft, and we're going to attach our two fans to make ourselves a little boat. After that, we hop in the lava and we glide on across. Thanks for watching this shrine tutorial, and we'll see you at your next shrine.